Hi, my name is Ale, and in this tutorial, we're going to build an app that fetches jokes from an API and then shows them on the screen. In previous tutorials, we've used Swift UI to create the interfaces of our apps, but in this video, we're going to be using UIKit to build a simple interface that includes a UI label and a UI button. So let's get started by creating a new Xcode project. We can select App. We can give our app the name random joke and we need to make sure that storyboard is selected for interface ui kit app delegate is selected for life cycle and swift is selected for language now let's take a look at a sample response from the random jokes api so let's open up a browser and I'm going to paste the URL of the API and I'll also put it in the video's description so you can copy and paste it as well. Now if we see the response, we see that we get a JSON dictionary that has four key value pairs. First we have the key ID, which gives us an identifier for the joke. Then we have the key type, which gives us the type of joke. Then we have the setup, which is the joke setup. And finally, we have the punchline, which is the joke's punchline. So now let's go back to Xcode and we can define a structure that will represent this response that the API gives us. So in Xcode, let's go to view controller. And here we're going to create a new struct. We'll call it joke. And we need to make sure that it is decodable since we will be decoding the JSON that we get from the API. Now the structure will have four properties, one for each of the key value pairs in the joke. First we'll have the ID, which is an int. Then we'll have the type of joke, which is a string. Then we'll have the setup, which is also a string. And finally we'll have the punchline which is also a string. Now let's go ahead and set up the interface for our app. Like I mentioned earlier, we will use a UI label to show the joke and a UI button, which when pressed will fetch a new joke. So let's first add the label. We'll define private lazy var label, which is of type UI label. And here we will create the label and then return it. Let label be equal to UI label with a frame of dot zero. Then we'll do label dot translates auto resizing mask into constraints and we'll set these to false. Then we'll do label dot number of lines equal to zero which means there's no limit to the number of lines that this label can hold. And finally, we will just return this label. Now let's create the button that will fetch a new joke when pressed. So private lazy var refresh button, which is of type UI button. And here we will create it let button be equal to UI button, again with the frame of dot zero, we'll create an image that will be the button's image. Let image be equal to UI image with a system name of arrow dot clockwise. And now we can call button dot set image pass this new created image and the control state will be normal. Then we'll do button dot translates auto resizing mask into constraints be equal to false. And finally we will return this button. Now let's define a method that will be called whenever this refresh button is pressed and then we'll update the button to be tied to this new method. So below our viewDidLoad function, we will add at 
OBJC or objective C private func load data and for now we will leave this method empty uh, later on we'll be adding the necessary code to fetch the joke from the API and to decode it but for now we'll just leave it empty and so now we can update the refresh button so that whenever it is pressed we call the load data method so we will add button dot add target the target will be self the action is load data so we can do hashtag selector and here we call load data and the event is touch up inside perfect so now we have our label and our button and what we have to do is actually add both of these to our view and we can do that inside our view the load method before we add our views, let's actually give a default text to our label. So the label by default will show loading joke. And we can also call label dot size to fit so that it adjusts its size to whatever text it contains. And now let's actually add these views. So in view did load. We will first call the view dot add subview, and we'll add the label. Then we'll call view dot add subview, and we'll add the refresh button. And now we need to set some constraints so that UIKit knows how it should lay out these uh, views. So let's add a private function. Private func set constraints and we will be using auto layout to set these constraints so let's first add the constraints for the label we'll need three constraints one for the leading anchor one for the trailing anchor and one for its y position so we will call first label dot leading anchor dot constraint and the constraint will be equal to the views leading anchor with a padding of 10 and we have to call is active equal to true now let's add the trailing anchor constraint so label dot trailing anchor dot constraint which will be equal to the views trailing anchor and we'll have a padding of negative 10. Let's activate it. Now let's also add the constraint for the Y position. So label dot center Y anchor dot constraint. And this will be equal to the view center Y anchor. We won't need a constant here. Is active equal to true. Now let's add the constraints for the refresh button. So this button should be below the label, so we can set its top anchor to be equal to the label's bottom anchor. So refresh button dot top anchor dot constraint will be equal to the label dot bottom anchor and we'll have a padding of 10 and we can call is active equal to true finally we'll add the leading anchor for this button refresh button dot leading anchor dot constraint which will be equal to the labels leading anchor and we can just activate this constraint is active equal to true so now after adding our views we can call the set constraints method set constraints okay so let's run our app and see how the ui looks so as you can see we have our label which says loading joke and we also have the refresh button 
Now, if we press it, nothing happens because our load data method doesn't have any statements to execute. So now we will go back to Xcode and actually get the data from the API and make sure that whenever this refresh button is pressed, we refresh the data for our joke. So let's go back to Xcode and we're going to add two properties to our view controller class. So first we're going to add a URL session data task. This data task will let us make a network request to get the joke. So let's add a private var data task, which is of type URL session data task, and the task will be optional. Now we'll add a variable that will hold the joke, so private var joke, which is of type joke, and this will be optional. Now what we'll do is that whenever this joke changes, we update the label to show the jokes setup and punchline. So we can do that by implementing did set. And what we'll do is first try to get the joke because it's optional. So guard let joke be equal to joke else return. If we're able to get the joke, then we can update the text for our label. So label dot text will be equal to, and in this string we'll put first the setup joke dot setup. Then we'll add a new line to put the punchline on the next line, and then we'll add the jokes punchline. And here we'll also make sure to call label dot size to fit so that its size adjusts to the new text. Perfect. So now all we have to do is implement this load data method so that we can send a request and get the joke from the API. So first what we'll have to do is create a URL. So let's add a guard let URL be equal to URL. We will use a string. And I'm going to paste here the API's URL, which again will be in the video's description. And if we're not able to create it, then we'll just return. Now, if we're able to get this URL, what we'll do is first cancel any existing data task that may be running. So we will do data task dot cancel. And now we will reset the data task. Data task is equal to URL session dot shared dot data task. And we will use with URL with a completion handler. So for the URL, we'll just pass the one that we just created. And for the completion handler, we'll get three values, the data, a URL response and an error if something went wrong. So let's add here data response error in. And first what we have to do is check if we were able to get the data. So we'll add a guard let data equal to data else we'll just return. So if we're able to get the data, now what we have to do is try and decode it because the data is in the JSON format. So we will try to decode it to create a joke object. So if let decoded data be equal to try with a question mark, JSON decoder dot decode and the type that we want to uh, decode into is the joke. So we have to provide joke.self from the data. Okay, so if we're able to get the decoded data, then what we have to do is update our joke object. And since this object modifies our UI, we have to do this on the main thread. So we can use dispatchq.main.async. And here, all we have to do is call self.joke is equal to decoded data. 
Finally, now that we have created our data task, what we have to do is send the request. So we can call data task dot resume. Perfect, so we have our load data method implemented and now all we have to do is make sure that when our view first loads, we call this method. And we already modified our button to also call this method whenever it is pressed. So all we have to do is underneath the set constraints call, we'll also call load data. Okay, so let's run our app and see how it looks. Perfect, so as you can see, we have a joke and we have the setup, the punchline, and if we press the button, we see that the joke is updated. Great, so that's all I wanted to show you in this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new. If you want to learn more about iOS development with Swift, Swift UI, and UIKit, make sure to subscribe to my channel as I'll be posting new videos very soon.